Hi guys, today I'm going to explain a game that I play with my students and the name of the game is Will It Roll? And the object of the game is for the student to find a stick grip in which I cannot execute a roll like this. Just a standard open double stroke roll. Now, I win the game if they can't think of a grip that I can't roll in and they win the game if they can think of a grip that I can't roll in. And really the only rule is that you can't grip in front of the halfway point of the stick because that just, it's fundamentally physics don't work out that way. But as long as it's somewhere on the back half of the stick, any grip is fair game to call. So, for example, they might say something like, oh, well, roll in reverse traditional grip because that's not something that you practice. Of course, that's easy. Or they might say, oh, you have to put your finger over it so you're playing like this. Too easy. Okay, we can go through every finger. Um, they might say, oh, you have to play the sticks upside down. Harder, but still doable. Sometimes the really uh, smarter ones will mess with the fulcrum within the confines of what they're allowed to do, and they'll say, oh, you got to hold way from the back. It does make it harder, but it's doable. Or they'll start to say, oh, you can only use some awkward combination of fingers. It's also hard, but it's doable. Um, or sometimes, you know, it's like, you got to hold the stick like this, which is tough, but I can still do it, right? So they lose this game most of the time. Most students lose most of the time because the fundamental thing here is that once you understand how a roll like that works, or any other technical thing for that matter, once you get how it works and what it's supposed to feel like, the actual mechanics of getting there are less important than most teachers and most drummers would have you believe. Now, there is something to be said for good technique. The real techniques that people teach tend to work better than something wacky. However, I've done videos on this before. Um, Back in the day, like uh, with the molar book, this, like your pinky doing most of the work and then just a fist, this was an accepted American drum grip. And it works actually really well. Still currently in Europe, having like a middle finger fulcrum in like uh, Switzerland and France, for example, this is an accepted way to play rudimental drums. And it works actually really well. I can play all kinds of technical stuff. It's just a fist. So the reason that is, is because I understand how the rebound works. I understand what the sticks are supposed to feel like. The minutia of how I get there is not that important. And that's why I can make sort of any of those grips work. So this is not to say ignore everything about grip and technique advice. It's just to say that there are so many techniques because there's a whole bunch of different ways to skin the cat, proverbially speaking. So if you want to check if you really understand a concept, whether it's rolls or something else, Try to do it in a variety of different grips or with the opposite stickings or you could translate this to foot pedals, do different techniques on your feet. If you really get it, it won't matter so much how you get there. If you can only do it one way, that probably means you don't really get it. I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.